before I start this video, um, I just want to tell you to subscribe to Anyalga. You know, he, he does a lot. He does a lot of things that, that are great. You know, he, he does animation that's far better than Master Media because he's not like Mr. Tracer. Just, just like tracing over the drawings and, and calling it his art. But anyway, subscribe to Anyalga. Like, make sure you give him likes on every video he makes. Without further ado, let's get to the video. <laughs> there is something wrong with YouTube. Like, um, so people hate power scaling for some fucking reason. <laughs> um, I, I don't understand why. Um, you know, again, like, I wanted to start power scaling games, but, you know, when they say the most retarded shit about anime and comics, like, that's, I have to step in. You, you know, like, the spec, the, the specter. Um, nah, um, but, but for real though, um, what the fuck is wrong with these retards saying the, this dumb shit? And, like, having nothing to back up their claims, except for, oh, my feelings, or, or just, like, flat-out fucking ignorance. It gets me fuck, um, it gets me freaking angered, like, when they say the dumbest shit. It gets me angered when they say the dumbest shit, and they can literally get away with it, like, like, pe they're, they're hating on Seth the Programmer, so Chuck the Cybercuck, Gate them, who's not even a power scaler, that's the funny shit, um, but they give all this hate to people, like, Wait, 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 I mean, they give all this love, not hate, um, they give all this love to Comics Explained, um, Comic Storian, who really should not be recognized. I was gonna talk about anti-power scalers in general, but the one I wanted to focus on the most is Penwheel. I kid you not, he said, Super Saiyan is just a plot device. Uh, uh, and I was like, w what is going on here? Since, since when was Super Saiyan a plot device? Akira Toriyama himself said, um, Super Saiyan is a 50 times multiplier. Yeah, yeah, it is a plot device, and Kaioken is just arbitrary, right? Like, when Goku said, Kaioken times 2, that's just arbitrary. There's no number to that. There, it's probably like a 3 times 2 multiplier. Like. Alright, so, um, thanks to fair use, I get to show you a clip of what he said. Is the training important to the story? No. I mean, you can make the case that Gohan's character development is, but the actual training itself? No, it's not at all important. Um, it's just there to justify a power boost for the next arc, and its sole purpose is to make sure everybody enters the fight at a level where you know they're at least as strong as Raditz, uh, given the next villains are going to be much stronger than him. I'm not criticizing the fact that there is training, and that it doesn't serve as much purpose as... Uh, or that it doesn't serve a purpose, I suppose. Um... So this guy said... Um, tra training doesn't boost your power, it's just there, um, to move the plot along. <laughs> okay, so, what they're saying is, that training, like, that, that training won't, is, is nothing, like, like, the, the thing that, training, the, the thing you do in order to get stronger was not necessary in Dragon Ball, so basically, you're telling me that Mayweather was just sitting on his ass all day, and yet he was able to beat Conor McGregor. Um, <laughs> I think not, buddy. Okay, so what do you have to say about power scaling? Why is it bullshit? Like, what's your dumbass reason that you give towards power scaling being bullshit? That's a point. Power levels and power debates are completely trivial. No matter what number you slap on Etienne's power level in the Sand Saga, it is a completely meaningless number. Is this power level 3,000? 4,000? 5,000? No! No, Tien's power level is strong enough to hurt Nappa slightly, but not beat him and buy more time for Goku. That's all that matters. In the end, it seems super trivial to me to try and determine the strength of his character at this moment, uh, sorry, at this moment, because you have a very broad idea from the way the story is told, and you know from the get-go anyways, he is not going to be the one taking away the win. Power scaling is not some separate entity from the writing. The reason Dragon Ball's fights in sequential order end up being satisfying is because it uses power scaling massively to its advantage. Whether people want to admit it or not, the power scale is always going to be wonky. You can point to any number of moments in Dragon Ball and say, well, look, why didn't this character just do this, then, if they're this powerful? Okay, this has got to be the dumbest thing I've heard. Like, okay, so 
They're irrelevant because who cares what 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 like what? The transformation a character uses isn't supposed to be an indication of what level I, of power I, they're on. I don't it's understand. Specifically, they boosted their power from what it was before by a certain amount. I feel like it's incredibly apparent. Khalifa going Super Saiyan two isn't meant to show that she's only at the same level Gohan was during the Cell Saga, but some people interpret it this way for God knows why. But you know that's the basic gist of it. Maybe I'll do another video on the universe six Saiyans, uh, but we'll see. Um. I feel like I could rant on forever about all this stuff, but I don't really want to bore you with the details so long as you get the general idea across. Um, the last thing I'll say in regards is, in regards to power scaling, that is, uh, with transformations, if you really want the truth about what a transformation is to Dragon Ball, it is not a sort of multiplier, except for Kaioken, but even that number is kind of arbitrary. Uh, everything else, though, every other transformation isn't some sort of power level multiplier. Transformations in Dragon Ball are excuses for a character to start coming out ahead and fight on a higher level against the opponent they were losing to before, and to look cool as fuck and shiny and new at the same time, if you really want the truth of it. That's all they are. And to look for anything much further than that in terms of depth, uh, unless the show explicitly states as much, is pretty nonsensical in my opinion. I know that might have come across as a little blunt, uh, might think I'm an asshole, but it's how I feel about a lot of really hardcore analysis on a show that clearly doesn't put itself under the same scrutiny that its fans do. All right, All right um, now, time for me to say something. In my utmost respect, you are stupid. That <laughs> I'm, I'm not trying to attack you, maybe a little bit. Yeah, I, I kind of am. Um, I'm calling you out right now. Um, if you see this video, message me on Twitter anything and I will rod you publicly. Replace your post, kill off your kidneys, yes a bozzy, but no one's taking my trophies. So fuck the shit, I'm a bus on a tip, warming up, so I won't take long bitch. We could go north, Sussex, a we come bump and grind, hydraulics.